All right, so I'm overdue. I'm overdue a haircut, so we will be recording this video like this. <laughs> a helicopter initially hovering 40 feet. Now, Nalini told me to start with this question. And before I start with this question, let me just say, these questions are the cake and ice cream of the linear programming series that I'm doing. So, just real easy questions. Watch it. Initially hovering 40 feet above the ground, begins to gain altitude at a rate of 21 feet. So in these questions, let me just flash back to the old video and remember the things you're looking for was M and C, where M is the gradient or the rate of change of the y-axis versus the x-axis. And C is really the starting value, the initial value where it's cutting the y-axis when x is zero whatever you want to call it, right? So we just really trying to find M and C to make Y is equal to MX plus C. Which one of these, which one of these you think is M and which one you think is C? Now it's gaining altitude. So it means M is positive. It's going up 21, 21, 21. And it started at 40 feet. So obviously, B is the answer we're looking for. Not A. A don't even have T in it. Not C. C is negative. Not D. What is going on with D? Let's do two more before this video ends. Number four. The front of a roller coaster car is at the bottom of a hill and is 15 feet above the ground. If the front of the roller coaster car rises, positive M, at a constant rate of 8 feet per second, that looking good. A and C done looking good already. Which of the following equations gives the height H in feet of the front of the roller coaster car S seconds after it starts up the hill? Why they are 335 here? Why are 335 for one front? I have no idea. So we can just ignore this and this. And 15 was no it was 15 feet above the ground so that's the starting value so a is the end you see how easy these questions are what do you think you could do it pause the video and try this last one this is probably the most difficult one but it's still easy pause the video try it for those of y'all who want to continue with the show a company purchased a machine machine valued at 120,000. the value of the machine this is the starting value then and it's depreciating by the same amount each year, 10 years, uh, that after 10 years, the value would be 30,000. So it's not depreciating 30,000 per year. It depreciated over a period of 10 years and arrived at 30,000. So 90,000 drop over 10 years. So how much per year? <laughs> 90,000 per year. This is our M. This is our gradient. It's decreasing, so it's subtracting. A and B looking good. Which one it started at? B is the final answer. Did you get that? Press like, subscribe, share. Look out for more exciting SAT. As a matter of fact, feel free to use the comment section and tell me what in SAT you need to know. Check out my other series on the channel. Love and blessings.